we learned the honorable agreed minister spoke about the benefit hippo gain from 2.5 or so million dollars uh, each. Uh, this is what I can point. This is what I can point. Uh, uh, this borehole, uncompleted borehole. This, this, they only came to test uh, the salinity of the water. And this is all we can point out that that is what they came to do. The rest of the money, where it goes, we can't tell. So, we are surprised as a community uh, to hear that the great minister spoke on the floor of parliament that Hippo, as a community in South Town district, also benefit eight, the $2.8 million aid. How you can see it? end of uh, the tour of the farms and uh, to see for ourselves the extent to which the impact of whatever program the uh, government through the ministry had implemented, which we all, we've all had to be realized uh, to be uh, not the way uh, 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 the, the description went in on the floor of parliament, but um, we've come to the main town. And the only project out of that uh, support is what we are seeing, which is the uh, the bubble here, which was sunk, and I'm sure because of the salinity, they've abandoned it because it is too salty or something like that. Even though the location, the original location was supposed to be somewhere at the uh, extreme end there. But my worry is that there was a quotation in the answer of the Minister on the floor of Parliament that this particular project, they spent almost two point something, there about million dollars. On the average, if you consider two million uh, uh, expenditure to improve on vegetable farming in four districts, we will be expecting that each district should be half hundred thousand dollars, which, when converted into um, uh, uh, Ghana cities, we're looking at the this exchange rate of maybe eight point zero, or maybe on the average, which is we all know is conservative. We are looking at four million. We are looking at four million, four million Ghana cities. So on the average, we are expecting some sign of an expenditure to the tune of four million in South Town, as it were, for the improvement of vegetable farming in the area. But here, yeah, this is the only thing, the only project we see. And uh, I, I don't know if this is not a serious short change. If this is not a serious short change, why? Somebody must explain to the people of Hippo and its environment, those that are involved in vegetable farming. I mean, let us even bring it down from 4 million to say 1 million. I cannot shudder to say that 1 million expenditure of whatever in terms of support for vegetable farming, including all that we went to see on the farms. And here in the main town, there's no sign of even an expenditure of a million, a million dollars. Mm. And so, what is really going on? Who is really shortchanging the people? It's, it's a serious matter. This is a matter that we would have to investigate. It's a matter that we must appreciate the uh, uh, the details. And so, we will have to ask in some more further questions, more clarifications on this matter. You see, because even if I should. I mean, I want for, for, for better appreciation of the situation because some of my old fathers and mothers and uncles and aunties and uh, 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 tugbees and mamas here still work to the old, you know, currency. They work to the old currency. So when you talk of currency, they still would say, ah, in the old money, how much is it? So let me for them to just appreciate what we are talking about. Four million Ghana cities times 10,000. Okay. That works to 400 billion, 400 billion, you know, cities, old currency, 400 billion. That's the money on the average to be spent on each of these four, four districts. And so let's look at it. Here in this district, we, we, we haven't seen any sign of any expenditure to that too. 
Let us even bring the 400 billion to 100 billion, even to 50 billion old, old, old cities. Where is it? What can we show for it? Here, a single borehole, which I hear, even, even if they want to be so much, you know, um, magnanimous, I should even expect with the kind of money we are talking about here. Even though when they found out that this is saline in terms of content, that so content is high, they should be able to build reverse osmosis machine attached to it to be able to, you know, convert the salt content to a better drinkable. So that at least that says that we will be even happy that at least you are helping the community because it's not something that is uh, beyond uh, uh, treatment. It can be treated because we have done similar at the uh, district hospital. At the district hospital, we have a reverse osmosis machine. And how much does that cost? We, with 30,000 cities or 40,000 cities, we're able to do that of the district hospital. So how much at all, eh? out of the colossal money we are talking about, cannot be spent on this community that is helping to improve the local economy and then by extension the external economy and help you to build uh, lives better. It's a serious matter. This matter, we will have to go into it because there's no value for money in this case. I thank you very much. The Honourable MP has said it all. Yeah. We are expecting the amount of money mentioned on the floor of Parliament. We are expecting something to be seen, not this uh, test tube that has been left uh, as what they spend that quantum of money on. So uh, we want them to come back. Where the money is, they should bring it back to do the work that is expected to do for the community of Hippo. Thank you.